Assalamu alaikum dear friends. I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site YouTube channel. So finally today I am here with you after a long time. As you know that I was busy in the previous project. And that's why I didn't upload any video from the Neom site. But a lot of uh, subscribers and other friends are asking the import or the important questions which they are asking in the Neom interview or test for the approval. So today I will discuss some basic questions for a KVQC engineer or civil site engineer for the Neom uh, approvals and also for contracting company uh, job interview question answer. And after watching this video, if you have any doubt or confusion, so you can ask me your question in the comment box or you can also can contact me through my Instagram or LinkedIn. Links are available in the about section of the channel. So let's start. Almost when you are uh, apply for a position of QAQC engineer, so in the NIAM approval, why they need your approval? Why they need that? A KVQC engineer should be approved. These are some important things which should be clear before the question and answer of the interview. If you want to work as a KVQC engineer in the Neom project, so you should you have to take approval from the ETSD department, which is the department of Neom, and the PMC project management consultant, which are ACOM and Bechtel in some projects. Whenever you enter to the Neom region as a KVQC engineer, to any contracting company, they will submit your CV to PMC and ETSD for the approval. When they submit your CV, they will call you for the interview. Mostly only the ATST will take your interview and the PMC will just forward your CV to the ETSD. So they will try to ask the basic things in the interview. Why? Because they want to know that you are eligible to work there or not. They just want to know about your skill as a KVQC engineer. That you, do you have a practical knowledge there or not? So in this interview, they try to know about these things. First of all, whatever they will ask, that will depend upon your skills and practical experience. Mostly they will start from the earthwork. After that, concrete, precast, steel structure. These are the most important things which they will ask questions about. So you should prepare yourself for the artwork, concrete, steel structure and precast and sometime also about the road. And what are the important international codes, ASTM or ACA codes which they will ask in the interview. So in this interview you know that I all, uh, I already uploaded the videos and the interview question and answer but here today I will discuss the international codes which they ask mostly in the interview. So today I will discuss first ACI codes. The main thing which they will ask that what are the ACI code for the structural concrete. So the ACI code for the structural concrete is ACI 318 and 19. 318 and 19. This is the ACI code for the structural concrete. What is the ACI code for the tolerances. So the ACI code for the tolerances is ACI 117R. After this, they will ask about the STM codes also, like what is the STM codes for the compressive strength test. The STM code for the compressive strength test is ASTM C39 or C39M. Another is the ASTM code for the Slump test. STM code for the slump test is ASTM C143. ASTM uh, code for the temperature is ASTM C1064. 1064. What is the ASTM code for the concrete sampling? ASTM code for the concrete sampling is ASTM C31. As per ASTM C31, you have to select the specimen of concrete, how you will transport, how you will uh, cure this uh, specimen. And uh, soil sampling code of the STM is ASTM D75. As whatever you will do the soil sampling in for the test, laboratory test, 
is ASTM D75. Okay, these were some important uh, codes for the concrete, for soil, and for the uh, and some from the SCI codes. And the other thing they will ask the most important question is what will be the inspection in the steel? So the steel and steel structure steel the important uh, WIR or inspection is first you have you should have a survey report survey layout or survey report approved for the steel erection which you will start there the second is the erection so there is coming in a surveillance the third will be torque tightening as per neom standards the torque tightening for the steel structure is 100 percent and the third will be dft whenever you bring the steel to the side and you erect all the steel so there is a final coat a paint for the steel structure. So when you uh, apply the final coat a paint at steel structure, so you have to check the DFT. DFT means dry film thickness. You have to check the thickness of the paint. And the other is they will ask about the slump values. And also they will ask one question that what is the cement content and the structural concrete. So how you will answer this question as depend upon your uh, in your experience. So there is not a specific value when he asks that what is the cement content in the concrete, structural concrete mesh design. So then you, has, you your answer should be like this. It depends upon the concrete mix design because we have structural concrete C30, C35, C50 and it depends upon the design of the structural concrete like for example for C35 we have 386 kilo per cubic meter for the c50 we have more than 480 kilo, uh, kilogram cement per cubic meter and the other thing they will ask about the earthwork most important question is as they say what you will do if you want to start the earthwork if you want to start the earthwork so first you have to do the excavation after the excavation you have to prepare a survey report you have to check the excavation level then you have to start the back peeling till the required level with the approved material and you have to check the back peeling uh, after compaction layer by layer. Layer thickness as per NIAM specification is 20 centimeter uncompacted and the compacted thickness of the soil will be 15 centimeter and you have to check its proctor uh, test and soil compaction test. Maximum dry density of the compacted soil will be minimum 95 percent and the optimum moisture as per NIAM specs is will be 6 plus minus 2. 6 plus minus 2 mean from 4 to 8. So guys these were uh, some general question which they ask and the NIAM um, approval interviews are uh, sometime in Sindal in our project they also taking the test written test of MCQs. So guys if you have any questions so you can ask me in the comment section and inshallah I am trying to resume the series of my videos again and inshallah tomorrow I will upload, upload another video about the jobs, vacancies and which companies are working in Yom nowadays and which companies are hiring. So thank you so much for uh, watching the video please share it with your friends subscribe my youtube channel if you are new here like the video and Always share the videos with your uh, new friend who want to come to Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much.